You don't mind being on camera? No. Oh. No. Oh. Hi guys, it's Shawnee T here. Um, this is about a year ago since I did the last instalment uh, here at Stark Isle Lakes. A few of you have seen this and since then been on, paid us a visit and even booked um, holidays in our holiday log cabin. Now, today we've had a bit of a rush one. We're, uh, we've got a few hours to spare, so we've brought the, the five-year-old down and my cameraman. Say hi to the missus. And we're going to have a quick go just for uh, just for some roach, so we can get some decent stamps of roach on corn. And we'll fish in on the quieter of the ponds today, which is the it used to be the fly lake, but is now turning slowly into a match lake. There is a match on Monday, bank holiday Monday, Easter Monday, so if you see this and you fancy having a go, get in contact. Um, but in the meantime, this is the bank holiday Saturday. So we've just got set up, running, pretty straightforward stuff today. Um, I'm just on quite heavy line on a, on a waggler, uh, fishing on the bottom with corn. We've got some um, small pellets, we're going to lay a bed them down and if we do get some decent roach we've got some bread just to use as flake and if we're really struggling we might have to switch over to the pellets and get them out. So we've got all our cameras set up, we've got this one to hand, I've got the cameraman at the ready, we've got another one just in the water so we can see some that might get passed over. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have some decent ones netted and we'll get this put up for you today. Right, see you soon. Thanks guys. So we're gripping the camera in our knees because the camera on our decided to go off for a quick wait. In the meantime, in our absence straight away we're we'll into another one. So again we're still on the float, we're still on the farm. And we've got another skimmer, probably about coming up towards a pound again, just that comes with darker colours. Still a lovely fish. I'll uh, just stop the record and I'll put this fish shape to back. So guys, we've just dropped the um, bream back again, or skimmer. Um, it, it was around a pound, it was there, just starting to come to its dark colours, which is nice to see. So it does show that they're moving on and feeling comfortable enough to, um, to breed from, the, uh, from skimmers into, uh, into the bream. Um, just a quick rundown on what we've got. Um, nothing. I'm not using anything really spectacular. Um, quite straightforward when we're fishing. No disrespect to any of the other manufacturers and suppliers of fishing equipment, but I don't really follow it enough to go as technical as what a lot of the manufacturers are making it now. Um, I'm quite old school, really. So I'm pretty straightforward on. I've got six pound line on a four pound bottom. Um, you can see. See there, I'm just on a 2SSG Crystal Waggler, touching on bottom, two number six shot, there's droppers, and I'm only on a size 18, smallish 18, on the four pound bottom, low diameter, um, and that's sufficient for a place like this, if, like me, you're only fishing for the small silvers. Um, I would probably have enough there to cope with um, a smallish carp and certainly a bream or a tench. Uh, so I'm not too bothered if I do hook into big stuff. If I take it steady, I should be able to, to handle it okay. Um, by far a lot lighter gear than what some other people use nowadays, which is, it's, it's up to them. It's, it's good that the, um, that the industry is moving that way and technology and the development is, um, is pushing it. So if just a quick rundown again, if you are looking for um, somewhere to fish or uh, to travel to fish uh, if it's too far a distance to make to over to East Yorkshire um, we have also got on site which I'll show you pictures of later or on previous videos we have got a log cabin that uh, sleeps up to eight uh, is available um, for online bookings which we can uh, put links in for you as well at a very affordable rates and they also features the fishing as well if not if you're interested in either match bookings or match fishing and day tickets, um, we do feature all them. And we've got uh, a very good head of bream in here, which is quite unusual for um, waters around here now, which are mainly aimed at carp. Although we do have a good head of carp as well. We do have a lot of anglers turn up specifically for the bream or the tench. 
um, and we do every year a tench hunt so if you get on the Facebook page um, follow Shane Turrell uh, that's my father who owns it um, we do have um, the Star Car Lakes Facebook page and adds on to that and you can see everything that's coming up and any developments and anything else you might be interested in uh, so we're going to get back to the fishing now, we're going to do a little bit more before my batteries run out on the, uh, the GoPro that sat under the water and stop and have some dinner, entertain my five year old for a little while and then get back on it for a bit for the afternoon and then pack up and uh, we'll be editing later. Right, thanks a lot guys, I'll, um, I'll uh, get back to it and then before dinner. Right, cheers! So we've had a good handful of roach. Uh, we've had the three skimmers now, uh, about a pound, two of which you've seen. A uh, smaller one here, about half a pound now. Watch the rod. You can see. Nice little barbless 18 hook has just slipped out, causing minimum of pain and damage. Good stamp. As you can see, we, the net we use and the, the mats we have down here are all issued by Starcar, so we use our own as a disease precaution. You might have seen that in other videos that you've seen, but we provide them all, so leave your nets in your car when you come, please. And, uh, our nets and mats are always cleaned after every session for everyone, so if not, you'll be picking up any horrible, messy ones from someone else covered in slime. So we'll get some out again, have a couple more goes before we stop for dinner, and then uh, get back on it in the afternoon. Right. So guys, just prepping everything again. I've just got the camera submerged here. And, um, it's gone to record. It's all the behind the scenes stuff you don't know, honestly. <laughs> right, so welcome back. We've just had dinner. Um, we've just done a quick walk around the camper van, just for anyone that's uh, inclined to see what they look like. Um, I've just come back in the own. So we get set, just set up again, chucked out. Just where the camera is, we've just put some corn on the bottom there, because quite confidently, the carp at least will come in close like that. To, uh, to feed off that corn. Whether they will or not with a camera there, I don't know. But we'll, uh, just for try it, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So we're going to go straight back as we were before, nice and simple, straight back on the corn. Nothing too flash because we're only fishing for the smaller silver today. It's only a bit of a jolly out. Yeah, it's out, so let's cast. All I've done is just put a bit of bait out ready. Uh, Sink the line. So straight away the silver fish is back down. And they're certainly passion to corn, even the smaller stuff. Just a silver. Just using the corn on the bottom, just a simple crystal waggler, nothing flash, nothing spectacular, it's producing bites and producing fish, so there's no real reason to change it at the moment.
could quite easily be the big fish anyway. So we get chucked out again, sink the line. I won't put any corn out this chuck because we've only just put some out. We'll loose feed according to, to bites really. We only set out today to catch a little roach, but quite clearly that's one of the smaller ones we've had of the bream or skimmers. It's nice to catch them instead of the roach to be fair, but I wouldn't complain either species. It goes back. Hitting to slightly better fish. Um, not seen it yet. Still working its way up. Uh, it's uh, still another skimmer, probably about a pound again, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more enthusiastic than the other ones were. So, on the semi light gear, on the float tactics, they make really good fun. And you can see I don't claim to be a matchman or a pro or anything like that, but just with simple, straightforward tactics and very limited amount of the bait, you can still produce decent fish that are a good spot for an afternoon. So you keep it over the net, keep it over the, uh, the mat as well, just in case it does flip out. Going back, I wish I'd have had a keep net on. Um, just to show you quite how many we've got so far, but um, the rules of the pond out there, we don't use the keep nets, uh, just for the welfare of the fish really, unless it's matches, and then they're, they've got nice spacious keep nets, and limited in what sizes and quantities can go in a net, but just for the you know, pleasure fishing, we don't allow them. So it's a shame you won't see the end product, but at least you've seen them in bits and pieces as they come past. Right, we'll get slung out then.
So we've had quite a good day today. We've had uh, quite a number of decent stamps of um, roach and the skimmers. Another roach being a bit overcautious really for the lines to fur it for the size of roach, but not to worry. I'll just um, hold that one, lift it back. Right, if you've still been watching up to this point, thank you very much. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like it. And also catch up with us on the next ones. We've got some other videos coming up. Um, some more featuring the fishing round here and some car ones and other bits and pieces like that. So if you like this kind of thing, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in the subscription, get that button clicked. And much appreciated for your time, patience. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. See you later. Hi guys, and if you've watched for this long, thanks for sticking with us. Um, we've had quite a productive day with the silver fishing on the, um, the old trout lake. I uh, enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, we promised to give you a quick um, show around the log cabin you've got, because quite a few people have been messaging me about that, um, and that how many can sleep, and stuff like that. So I'll give you a quick guided tour of that, and you can see for yourself, it's quite a, a nice place to have a holiday. Um, very clean. Um, up to date, it's got everything you need and uh, hopefully with a little bit of luxury. So, we'll go for a bit of a guided tour. At the moment the one you're in now is our, our own personal little clubhouse where the family come in if we're uh, all just dropping in. But that's separate to the public. Right, first room we've got a double room here. Uh, I'll give you a quick spin of the camera. So we've got a double room tips two singles ideally we're aiming this at people for fishing road cycling anything groups holidays like that um, next one we have got another double room you see very very tidy it's quite high standards beds are nice and clean no little jumpy or hoppy things in there we've got good ratings up to now got nice little finishing touches uh, we've got a master room with a double bed and an ensuite. This little ensuite shower room, very clean, very tidy. So this can be found on cottages.com, I believe. If I have miss said that, I will correct it and put it in a link down below. Uh, I do apologise in advance, but I'm pretty sure we're on cottages, uh, cottages.com. Uh, the bathroom, obviously, as you can see, very nice again, clean and tidy. All what you want, you don't want to be feeling uncomfortable when you're uh, out on holidays, you want it to have a, a very enjoyable um, experience. And finally, you have got the last of the double rooms. So, as a quick recap, we can, we can sleep eight here. Um, we can organise the beds accordingly for people who want more than one double bed. Um, but generally, eight people sleeping. Uh, with the two ensuite shower, with the ensuite shower and a separate shower and a bath, all the facilities are there to, so it's not too much of a crowd. And we're moving, just spin the camera back around again, and we're going to move on to the kitchen open plan living area. So you can see we've got everything we need. We've got a nice big fridge, freezer, uh, microwave, oven. Hob, everything's very new and kept to a very very clean standard so it's uh, still a pleasant experience even when you get this far when you come to preparing food and things good seating area you can fit all six or seven people easily just on the surface alone telly you can get and when you get up in the morning and you fancy having your breakfast you can have a little look we've got a little breakfast bar set up it looks out over the ponds so everyone can sit down, look out across the ponds. I'll have a little uh, evening sit down in the in the summertime when it's nice and warm. Even in spring, I suppose, in this little orangery kind of room, it's still nice. So it seems I need to touch on the dark side at the moment only because we've got the curtains drawn just to keep it a bit cooler in here at the moment because it does get very, very warm to these log cabins. Right, so once again thank you very much everyone for sticking with us, um, I hope that's resolved some of people's queries about what's the log cabin like, how many can it sleep and 
costings do change depending on the points of the year. Um, so there is um, high points and low points which just fluctuate the prices a little bit but you're best just checking online and just just having a look check out that hotels uh, they um, check out cottages.com um, and just keep an eye on this on these uh, the progress of this place because we have got some hopefully more cottages going up soon um, so it'll be slightly larger and the cottage prices do include the fishing so just let me reiterate that it does include the fishing for the price in the cottage which makes it quite uh, an affordable little holiday so I hope you've enjoyed the tour um, I hope you enjoyed the fishing earlier and um, we're gonna get on with these vlogs a little bit more regular than we have been doing we've just had a little bit of a, a turbulent year so um, I'll just say my byes and thank you very much for watching so far and uh, hope to see you again see you later On a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Girl, I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you you're special Certain it's your love that holds me together